If you've ever opened up your photo library and thought, where did all these blurry selfies, duplicates, and random screenshots come from, you are not alone. Photos sneak into our collections every single day, and if we don't delete them regularly, they will build up into digital chaos. That is why the daily delete is such a powerful habit. Just a few minutes a day can save you hours, even days of cleanup in the future. But here's the secret. If you integrate photo organizing software into that routine, it doesn't just tidy things up, it actually makes the whole process easier, smarter, and more consistent. And stay with me until the end because I'll share a bonus tip that makes daily deleting practically automatic. Tip one, start with the built-in tools you already have. The easiest way to make daily deleting a habit is to start with the tools, well, you already have. On your iPhone, that's Apple Photos. On Android, it's Google Photos. On Windows, it might be the Photos app or even File Explorer. These tools do more than just delete. They help you target the clutter by having media types. Apple Photos. In Apple Photos, scroll down to media types. You'll see categories like selfies, screenshots, bursts, and videos. Those are often the worst offenders and a few minutes clearing them out makes a big difference. Google Photos. In Google Photos, tap the search at the bottom, then either look at the suggestions, it may show screenshots or selfies, or you can search for them for other things like videos and documents as well. To integrate it into your routine, pick one media type per day. Maybe screenshots today, burst tomorrow. That way your daily delete is always focused, always quick, and always building towards less clutter. And here's a little gem. Apple Photos now includes a built-in duplicate album. It's under utilities, so head there. It automatically finds photos and videos that look identical. You can review them quickly, choose merge, and Apple keeps the highest quality version, consolidating metadata like tags and albums. Or go to select all and hit merge at the bottom and all your duplicates will be merged and gone. It's a brilliant way to make the daily deleting faster because you don't have to hunt for duplicates yourself, the software does it for you. Tip two, add favorites, tags and ratings as you go. Deleting is only half the story. The other half is keeping track of your best photos. On your phone, the quickest way is to simply favorite a shot. In Apple Photos, tap the little heart. In Google Photos, tap the star. That one tap makes sure your highlights don't get lost in the photo mess. But if you're ready to go a step further, this is where photo software comes in. Tools like Adobe Bridge, Milio, or Photo Mechanic let you assign proper star ratings or add descriptive tags as part of your daily delete. Maybe you give your top photo of the day five stars or tag an event like Emily's birthday 2025. Over time, these ratings and tags build up to a powerful index that is far more searchable than just scrolling endlessly through favorites. To integrate this, make yourself a simple rule. After deleting, pause for 10 seconds. Before closing the app, tag at least one photo or give one rating. Doesn't sound like much, but over weeks and months, you'll have a library that's searchable, organized, and ready to enjoy. Tip three, sync across your devices. One of the biggest frustrations is deleting on one device and seeing the same photo pop up somewhere else. This is where sync comes in. Apple Photos, Google Photos, Milio, and Adobe Cloud all make sure that your changes flow across devices automatically. But here's the trick. Don't assume it's just doing the work. Make sure that you check it. For Apple Photos, log into iCloud.com and make sure it matches your phone. For Google Photos, open up Google Photos on your computer and check it lines up with your app. For Milio, open up the library on another device and see if your changes are actually there. For Adobe Creative Cloud, log into your online Adobe account and check your edits and ratings are appearing there. Once you've confirmed syncing, integration becomes easy. Pick one device that suits your lifestyle, maybe your phone during your commute or your laptop in the evening and let the sync rip all the changes everywhere. No double work, no frustration, just one consistent library. Tip four, sort into albums and share as you go. 
The Daily Delete isn't just about removing clutter. It's also the perfect moment to do a little light organizing. While you're reviewing yesterday's photos, take an extra minute to drop your favorites into maybe a yearly album. On Apple Photos, tap to share and then select to add to album and either choose an existing one or create a new album for that event with the plus. On Google Photos, tap the plus for the add to and choose album. From there, you can quickly sort photos into collections like family, holidays, or work projects, or create a new album. The beauty of this is twofold. First, albums help you find things faster. Instead of scrolling endlessly, you just open up Summer Holiday 2024 and everything's there. Second, albums are the easiest way to share. Both Apple Photos and Google Photos let you share an album with family and friends in just a couple of taps. Instead of spamming everyone with individual pictures, they get one clean album and you can stay in control of what's included. So as part of your daily delete, don't just clear, also curate. Think of it as setting aside your best shots and then deciding whether to keep them just for yourself or sharing them straight away. Over time, you'll build little story collections instead of a giant, unmanageable stream of photos. Now, if you're hearing this and thinking, this is brilliant, but my problem isn't daily deleting, my problem is the 50,000 photos that I already have scattered everywhere. Then you want to check out my Photo Mess Success courses. They are built for exactly that, guiding you step-by-step step from overwhelmed to a neat, backed up photo collection you can actually enjoy. You can find out all the details at photomessuccess.co.uk. So head on over and I'll see you there. Tip five, make it a habit, not a chore. Finally, the secret ingredient, routine. If you want your daily delete to stick, it needs to feel natural. So attach it to something you already do. For example, maybe every evening while you relax with a nice cup of tea, you open up your photo app and quickly clear yesterday's pictures. Or maybe it's part of your morning commute. Headphones in, scrolling through, deleting the bad ones. By pairing with an existing habit, you don't have to remember to do it. It just becomes part of the flow. And because you're using software to help, whether it's syncing, tagging, or just using it to find your media types, you're not not just tidying for today, you're building an organized system that will save you so much time in the future. Bonus tip. And now for the bonus tip I promised. If your photo software supports smart albums or smart collections, use them to take the guesswork out of your daily delete. Use these like auto update playlists for your photos. They fill themselves based on rules you set so you don't have to manually sort. Here's how to set them up. Adobe Bridge. In Adobe Bridge, first go to the folder of photos you want to keep reviewing. So for me, this is camera uploads. Then go to the collections panel on the left hand side. To make a smart collection, go to create smart collection with the little button at the bottom. Give it a name like unsorted or needs reviewing. And then you can create a rule such as rating is zero, label doesn't exist. From now on, every photo that hasn't been tagged or rated will be automatically showing up here. Open that smart collection, do your culling, tagging and rating and watch it update itself as you go. Apple Photos. In Apple Photos on your Mac, go to the Albums area, click the plus and select New Smart Album. For the filter, you might set the photo as not favorited or the date captured is in the last seven days. Name it as daily delete or unreviewed and every new photo that matches that rule will drop straight in. Each day you just open that smart album and clean it up. But remember, you can only see this album on your Mac. Slightly annoying. The beauty of smart albums and collections is that they act like your built-in to-do list. Instead of wondering, where do I start today? You simply open up the collection, review a handful of photos and you're done. It transforms the daily delete from a chore to a quick guided routine. Honestly, once you try it, you never go back. If you like this video, I highly recommend watching this video next on how to share your photo collection with family without losing control. It's the perfect companion to your daily delete and it will show you just how to share all of your lovely memories. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more photo organizing tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.